ஹலோ ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு அவர் சேனல் த ஃபீல்ட் ஆஃப் கெமிஸ்ட்ரி அண்ட் விஜயலக்ஷ்மி டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் ஹைட்ரோபோரேஷன் ஹைட்ரோபோரேஷன் த்ரூ ஆக்சிடேஷன் ப்ராசஸ் வாட் இஸ் இட் ஹைட்ரோபோரேஷன் ஹைட்ரோபோரேஷன் இஸ் நத்திங் இட் இஸ் டைபோரின் காம்பவுண்ட் ஓகே நவ் வை டோ வி யூஸ் திஸ் ஹைட்ரோபோரேஷன் ஸோ அல்கீன் கன்வெர்டட் இன்டு ஆல்கஹால் த்ரூ டைபோரேஷன் லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ ஹாவ் எக்ஸ்பிளைன்ட் அபவுட் அல்கீன் கன்வெர்டட் டு ஆல்கஹால் இன் த ப்ரெசன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஆசிட் கேட்டலைஸ்ட் தட் இஸ் அ ஃபஸ்ட் பார்ட் அண்ட் ஐ ஹாவ் கிவன் த மெக்கானிசம் ஆல்சோ நவ் செகண்ட் மெத்தட் வி ஆர் யூஸிங் ஹைட்ரோபோரேஷன் ஓகே நவ் இன் தட் ஹைட்ரோபோரேஷன் அல்கீன் வி ஹாவ் டேக்கன் அலாங் வித் டைபோரின் காம்பவுண்ட் பி டூ ஹெச் சிக்ஸ் வி ஹேவ் டேக்கன் ஸோ வி ஆர் கெட்டிங் அ அடிஷன் ப்ராடக்ட் ஆஃப்டர் கெட்டிங் அ அடிஷன் ப்ராடக்ட் வி ஆர் யூஸிங் ஹைட்ரஜன் பெராக்சைட் ஹெச் டூ ஓ டூ வி ஆர் யூஸிங் ஹெச் டூ ஓ டூ இட்ஸ் அ ஹைட்ரஜன் பெராக்சைட் இன் த ப்ரெசன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஆக்வஸ் சோடியம் ஹைட்ராக்சைட் அட் ஃபைனலி வி ஆர் கெட்டிங் ஆல்கஹால் ஓகே நவ் ஐ ஹவ் டேக்கன் டூ மாலிக்யூல்ஸ் ஆஃப் ப்ரோபீன் ஓகே சிஹெச் த்ரீ சிஹெச் டபுள் பாண்ட் சிஹெச் டூ டூ மாலிக்யூல்ஸ் ஐ ஹவ் டேக்கன் ஃபார் அ கன்வீனியன்ஸ் டு ரிமெம்பர் த ஃபார்முலா ஃபார் தட் சை ப்ளஸ் டைபோரின் ஐ ஹவ் டேக்கன் சி கலர் வேரியேஷன் ஐ ஹவ் கிவன் வெரி கிளியர்லி யூ வில் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் பி டூ ஹெச் சிக்ஸ் ஹியர் பி ஹெச் டூ ஹியர் ஒன் மோர் பி ஹெச் டூ ஸோ டூ பி ஹெச் ஃபோர் அண்ட் ஹியர் ஹைட்ரஜன் டூ ஹைட்ரஜன்ஸ் ஆகுது ஸோ இன் சச் அ வே ஐ ஹவ் shuffled okay now we are receiving the addition product that's what i've told here addition product when alkene react with diborin addition product is formed which on oxidation with hydrogen peroxide in the presence of aqueous sodium hydroxide gives alcohol so we are getting addition product not one product one pro first one second one third one so three products we are receiving through addition compound so one upon the other we are adding first we are adding two molecules of propene along with diborin you are getting a addition product what you are getting a addition product ch3 ch2 ch2 bh2 see how do you get it here bh2 bh2 i have given very clearly so through that you got it another one one more hydrogen it's joined over here as well as here also now for example uh, very clearly i'll tell you means b2 h4 plus 2 6 b2 h6 you got it now what is the product ch3 ch2 ch2 bh2 isn't it ch3 ch2 ch2 bh2 see here one hydrogen is going to accommodate here so automatically double bond it starts breaking next one the same one molecule we have taken okay here two molecules no one molecule we have taken in that one molecule propane again we are going to add we are not going to take diborane we are going to take only propene so again what happened this hydrogen which is going to attach over here this double bond starts breaking again we are receiving what it is addition product what it is here see suppose one hydrogen is gone over there so that means ch3 ch2 ch2 bh ch2 ch2 ch3 that is the addition product again we have taken this compound added with again propane so three times so this is the first product and this is the second product and this is the third product all these are addition product okay now here you are getting you are getting that uh, propene so again this hydrogen is going to attach over that this bond breaks double bond so what is that product final product ch3 ch2 ch2 three times as well as b now we are going to see the final product what we are going to receive in the final product what we are going to use for that hydrogen peroxide in the presence of aqueous sodium hydroxide so this compound ch3 ch2 ch2 
three times B. In this compound, we are adding hydrogen peroxide in the presence of sodium hydroxide, aqueous sodium hydroxide we are adding. So, what happened? CH3, hope can you see? CH3, CH2, CH2 thrice B plus H2O2, sodium hydroxide in the presence. You are getting what it is? CH3, CH2, CH2OH. One propanol you are getting and orthoboric acid you are receiving. Here, one speciality I would like to tell you. During hydroboration, the boron gets attached to the carbon containing maximum number of hydrogen atom. What is this? Somewhere we have learned to know. Yeah, exactly. Markovnikov's Kauf's rule. See, Markovnikov's Kauf's rule means what it is. Wherever carbon attached with the hydrogen, which is less in that place only, another molecule of hydrogen which is going to attach. But here, boron is going to attach to the carbon containing maximum number of hydrogen atom. So, maximum number of hydrogen atom, that means here 3. See here, CH3, CH2, CH2, 3 times it's B. Boron is going to attach the maximum number of carbon which is going to attach that boron. Okay, now here, what they are telling? anti markovnikov rule. So, anti markovnikov rule means wherever hydrogen atom is higher in the carbon atom in that place boron is going to attach hope you got it what is markov rule wherever hydrogen is less containing carbon in that place only h plus ion is going to attach so that is markov rule what is anti markov rule wherever hydrogen atom which is maximum here minimum here maximum in that place boron is going to attach so that is called markovnikov's rule hope you are clear with that what is markovnikov's rule and what is anti markovnikov's rule markovnikov's rule means wherever hydrogen is lesser contains carbon that is called which is going to attach for any other molecules that is called what it is markovnikov's rule another part anti markovnikov's rule wherever maximum number of hydrogen which is attached to the carbon in that place boron is going to join so that is called markovnikov's rule hope you got it next one we are going to check with carbonyl compound from carbonyl compound how do we get the alcohol that we are going to check so carbonyl compound in the sense we are getting aldehydes ketones esters uh, and uh, ether so all these compounds it's converted into alcohol how do we convert into alcohol through reduction process this is a common example even in aldehydes and ketones chapter also we have learnt the same example how do we convert aldehydes into alcohol that and all we have learnt and one more point Grignard reagent also we have seen okay and now first one it's very easy and uh, already you have learnt in aldehydes and ketones I have posted those videos you just go through that it's very clearly I have explained now very short form I will explain this part now aldehyde is reduced in the presence of nickel and palladium catalyst we are receiving alcohol this is a general formula RCHO. It's a general formula of aldehyde. Now I have taken example acetaldehyde CH3 CHO. CHO it's what it is functional group of aldehyde already you have learnt. Okay so acetaldehyde is treated that means reduced with hydrogen in the presence of nickel and palladium as a catalyst you are getting what it is ch3 ch2oh it is a ethyl alcohol so that means what it is acetaldehyde is converted into ethyl alcohol in the presence of nickel and palladium as a reduction process okay now 
so aldehyde converted into alcohol got over okay now next one more thing ketone how do we get ketone it's converted into alcohol this is also the simple the same method we are using nickel as a cat uh, what it is uh, palladium as a catalyst in the presence of nickel uh, what it is uh, acetone that is ketone this is ketone formula right so acetone is converted into alcohol that is a that is also reduction process here ch3 choh ch3 now see that um, here one point i would like to tell you aldehyde converted into alcohol that is you are getting a CH2OH that means CH2OH is what it is primary alcohol so you are getting a primary alcohol you are receiving suppose you are taking a ketone two alkyl groups is attached over there isn't it so two alkyl group is attached over there so naturally you are getting tertiary alcohol that means three carbons are there in that place COH it is there so here what it is tertiary alcohol it will takes place next one more thing which is uh, reduction by carboxylic acid what is the reduction by carboxylic carboxylic acid is what it is ch3 coh so that is acetic acid that is also known as carboxylic acid what is the functional group of carboxylic acid yeah coh it is a carboxylic acid so carboxylic acid is reduced with hydrogen in the presence of lithium aluminium hydride see now here you are using lithium aluminium hydride here and all you have used nickel and palladium as a catalyst isn't it but here also we are reduction process only we are using but what it is reducing agent something different it will be there okay nickel also reducing agent only palladium it is a catalyst which make the reaction faster so that is called catalyst and here lithium aluminium hydride is a reducing agent we are using so acetic acid is reduced what it is lithium aluminium hydro lithium aluminium hydride you are receiving primary alcohol ch3 ch2oh so acetic acid is converted into ethyl alcohol in the presence of or reduced with lithium aluminium hydride remember that next one reduction of ester okay reduction of ester ester already you have learnt in aldehydes and ketones part only what is it ch3 coor that means uh, r r dash will be the two alkyl groups is there so that is called what it is ester so ester how do we get alcohol in that alcohol COOH is there no COOH one hydrogen is replaced by one alkyl group isn't it so that is the way ester formation already aldehydes and ketones part only I have explained what it is an ester okay now ester is reduced in the presence of nickel and palladium here also we are using nickel and palladium only using uh, reduced and you are getting what it is or ch2oh ch2oh is what it is primary alcohol and r dash oh see here r r dash so two alkyl groups are that naturally two types of alcohol we may get it okay now for example i am going to take ester of ethyl ethanoate what is it ethyl ethanoate for example acetic acid you are taking ch3 coh it is called acetic acid along with one alkyl group for example what it is ch what it is c2h5 c2h6 also you can take c2h5 also okay c2h6 ethane i'm taking okay now this hydrogen is replaced in that place c2h5 which is this alkyl group ethyl group which is going to attach so that means what is the formula ch3 coo c2h5 that's what i have written here ch3 c double bond o o c2h5 i have written so what is the name of this ethyl ethanoate this is ethyl ethanoate oxy group is there no so ethanoate 
okay it is reduced in the presence of nickel and palladium you are getting ethyl alcohol see what it is ch3 ch2 oh you are receiving isn't it then again here one more thing it is there so that is actually hydrolysis also takes place so that means here CH3, CH2OH, yet what it is? One more OH. So C2H5OH. So what happened? Ethyl alcohol, CH3, CH2OH, also ethyl alcohol. C2H5OH, also ethyl alcohol. Suppose you are taking methyl group, CH3 group, alkyl group if you have taken means CH3OH, methyl alcohol, you would have got it okay uh, ethyl uh, methyl ethanoate all that is the name methyl ethanoate okay instead of c2h5 if you take ch3 that is called methyl ethanoate just you have to replace c2h5 instead of that ch3 okay so ester is reduced in the presence of nickel palladium you are getting two types of alcohol okay that is primary alcohol only ch3 ch2oh ch2oh it's a primary alcohol next one grignard reagent in this you are going to learn three cases suppose formaldehyde if you are using what alcohol we can receive acetaldehyde we are using what type of alcohol we are receiving ketone if you are using what type of alcohol we are receiving so such kind of three cases i would like to give you it's very easy grignard reagent is what it is alkyl that is um, alkyl magnesium halide so that is called grignard reagent isn't it already you have learnt alkyl magnesium halide so here methyl magnesium halide or benzyl magnesium halide like that you can learn okay so here example i am giving so general formula alkyl magnesium halide mixed with aldehyde so you are receiving a addition product what is it addition product the same thing ch3 cho in that place mg also mgx which is going to attach okay now here the same way what you are receiving ch3 ch2oh that means primary alcohol plus mg x oh here hydrolysis takes place that is what you are receiving this product okay now for example ch3 mg x what it is methyl magnesium iodide combined with formaldehyde hcho it is called what it is formaldehyde so you are getting addition product the same thing instead of r i just put it here this one ch3 ch2o mgi ch3 ch2 comgi that's what ch3 ch2 comgi okay here hydrolysis takes place what happened CH3, CH2OH plus Mg, X, OH hydrolysis during that time. Okay, now CH2OH is, is, is what it is called primary alcohol, right? Now, I am going to take acetaldehyde as a, what it is? Example, now formaldehyde I have taken, so I am getting what it is primary alcohol now acetaldehyde i am going to take acetaldehyde combined with methyl magnesium iodide you are getting so you are getting addition product the same thing you are getting so here instead of that ch3 here two alkyl group is there see here one alkyl group is there here one alkyl group so two methyl group is there in that place addition product also it is formed so through hydrolysis what happened ch3 here c ch3 choh okay now choh it is called what it is secondary alcohol so secondary alcohol you are receiving along with mg xoh you are receiving now next point here you are taking a ketone ch3 c double bond o ch3 it is a acetone formula right in this place ch3 mgbr okay combined with acetone you are getting what it is ch3 ch3 c ch3 ch3 o mgb 
br see here one alkyl group here one alkyl group here one alkyl group so all together three alkyl group is there so here what happen hydrolysis takes place h plus so what you are receiving ch3 c ch3 here ch3 here oh plus mg x that is br here oh so this is the way we are getting so what is this called it is a tertiary alcohol ch2oh it is a primary alcohol choh it is a secondary alcohol now the last one ch3 c here also ch3 three the three alkyl groups attached with carbon along with oh so this is coh it is a tertiary alcohol so long we have seen a preparation of alcohol with alkene and carbonyl compound from carbonyl compound how do we convert to alcohol these are the two points we have seen first point what it is alkene converted into alcohol second point from carbonyl compound converted into alcohol all these points are reduction uh, process except uh, um, what it is Grignard reagent hope you understood children thanks for watching